Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to start an old D69U that has a pup motor. I'll show you all the controls first and kind of how the starting procedure works and then I will start it. So on this side there is a petcock for the uh, pup motor. I don't ever leave it on as I find that sometimes they will siphon gas through the carburetor over time <clears throat> so I always turn it off then you have the on off key switch for the pop motor the starter button for the pop motor up here you have your choke linkage <clears throat> all the way in is um, all the way off and your throttle all the way in is all the way revved up. Here you have the um, throttle for the main diesel. This is your clutch for the pop motor, the pinion engage for the pop motor. You, oh, this is the decompression for the main diesel. You always want to make sure that you have your clutch out and the machine in neutral because the pup motor does have enough power to move it and you would hate to drive yourself over so anyway you turn the gas on the far side turn your key switch on start your pop motor you will have to play with the choke and the idle um, they are a bit finicky so there's kind of a sweet spot with that choke where it will run properly and I try and let it idle for a minute before uh, revving it up once you rev it up your clutch this is your your clutch engaged so then you can shift your pinion once you get it all the way up and shifted you can let your clutch out slowly if it's cold you may want to use the decompression to get it started so that it's not overly hard on the pup motor trying to spin over the main diesel with full compression it's not cold today so we shouldn't need to do that I give it a shot of diesel after I get it spinning over just to kind of warm the cylinders up and then you just let it run until it's warm enough to start. You may need to use a little bit of ether if it's cold or putting a block heater on these doesn't doesn't hurt either but in essence if you can get the pop motor running eventually the diesel will start. That's the nice thing about them is they just keep hammering away and um, the exhaust runs through the diesel intake so it kind of acts as, as a preheater and eventually it will start.